Thompson Middle School. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Lucia. Welcome to the AMS TV News for the week of April 18th. Let's check out this week's words of wisdom. Good morning, Thompson Middle School. This is Miss Siska with a few words of wisdom. How many of you know who Lech Wałęsa is? He's the former Polish labor leader who won the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts to bring freedom to the Polish people. He's been described as a man who taught the world a lesson in courage. How? By standing up for what he believed was right. In fact, because of his great courage, he went from shipyard worker to prison, but also to international hero in less than one year. Confucius once said, to see what is right and not do it is a lack of courage. Today, think about the courage it, to, it can take to do the right thing. Then notice small acts of courage. If a friend says no to something that is wrong, give her support. If a fellow student admits to a wrongdoing, show respect for the courage it took to accept responsibility. Then show a little courage yourself by following your heart and doing the right thing. With something to think about, this is Miss Siska. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Thanks, Miss Siska. The book fair will be in the library from May 9th to May 13th. All profits will go to the Digital Media Lab and the Library Makerspace. Let's take a, let's take a look at one of the featured books. Oh, hi, I'm Jamie, and I'm here to talk to you about Unfriended by Rachel Bell. An old friendship, a spot at the popular lunch table, the undivided attention of a cute boy. They're worth fighting for, aren't they? but hidden safely behind a screen and keyboard, pretending to be someone else. One of these six friends is dropping secrets and changing reputations forever. To keep climbing the social ladder, promises will be broken and hearts may, may be too. As rumors spread and name calling begins, the entire class feels the impact of war being waged through social media. Is it too late to apologize? Thanks. The last day for the spring food drive is this Thursday. Please bring in non-perishable food items. Collection boxes will be in the cafeteria and all social studies classrooms. All food will be donated to the Smithtown Food Pantry. Science Club will be meeting on Wednesday this week, but will meet on Thursdays after vacation. New members are welcome as we start some gardening projects and some other science explorations. Now let's check out this week's Facts of Life. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them all, and there you have the facts of life. The facts of life. There's a time you gotta go and show you grow, and now you know about the facts of life. The facts of life. Welcome to the facts of life. With school quickly coming to an end, the final exams are just around the corner. It is super important to make sure you are managing your time well. Feeling like you do not have enough time to get everything you need to do can become really stressful and actually take a toll on your well-being and the work you produce. That is why it's so important to have good time management skills. Have you ever procrastinated getting something done? Procrastination means that you means you are putting off some important things that need to get done. So instead of writing your paper or studying for your test, you find yourself Snapchatting, talking with friends, or watching Netflix. So basically, you are doing anything other than the paper or studying for a test. To prevent this from happening, you can follow the steps of time management. 1. Pro prioritize. This means you are looking at everything you need to get done and put it in order of most important to least important. This allows you to make sure you get all the really important things done first and then go down the list. 2. Plan. Planning is the key to stay on top of what you need to get done. When you are planning, you are figuring out everything you need to get done. Try making a to-do list, it really helps. Schedule. Take out a calendar. Do you know there's one right on, the, what, right on your phone? Fill in all the important things you have coming up so you can know to plan around those events. Some things you have to set on, that are on set days like soccer practice or dance. When you schedule your time, you can see the exact amount of time you have to get something done. And last but definitely not least, seek help. Running out of time can be stressful, and like we said earlier, that can, save, that can have some negative effects on your life. Talk to someone, whether it be a teacher or 
some help or extra time for that big assignment, or your parents to help you figure out what, where you need to be and when. You should seek help when you need it. Talking to other people before you are too stressed out or, because, or before things are late and not getting done is being proactive. Michael Altser once said that bad news is time flies, good news is you're the pilot. Thank you for joining us this week on The Facts of Life. Have a great week, a concept. Thanks guys, let's turn it over to Kira in this week's edition of Statistically Speaking. Statistically speaking, I'm your host Kira. I'm here with Nick Percent and Joey Doyle. Hi. Before we begin, this week's episode is sponsored by Generic Brand Water. Okay, so today's topic is does social media cause social anxiety? So, uh, Joey, would you care to explain? Uh, yes, I think it doesn't cause uh, social anxiety because why should it? You're you're on social media, you can talk, tweet to other people. True, true. So, Nick, you think that it can, in fact, contribute to social anxiety. Would you care to explain why? Yes, because on the internet, you could be anonymous, and people use that power to, like, hurt people's feelings because they, like, Joe here, if I did something to him, he wouldn't know that it was me. He would just know. Someone doesn't like me, and I can't do anything about that. Interesting. So, let's see what other kids at Acosta Middle School thought of this. <gasps> I'm here with Liam Reynolds. Say hi. Hello. Do you think that social media could cause social anxiety? Well, no, because on social media, you're in control of what gets exposed and what doesn't. So, if someone attacks you, then you can attack them just as easily. So, I think you're safe on social media. Okay. I'm here with Heather Batchel. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so Heather, do you think that social media is contributing to social anxiety? I think that social media could contribute to social anxiety because if you meet a stranger on the internet, you could get really worried and then you never know what could happen. Okay, thank you. I'm here with Harris. Say hi. Hello. Okay. So Harris, do you think that social media can cause social anxiety? For the most part, no. Thank you. The results are in. At a shocking turn of events, people said yes with 60% to 40%. So that means, Nick Percent, you win! Good job! And that is all. Next week's topic will be displayed on screen now. Uh, make sure to vote on what you think about this week's topic at AMSDMC.com. And thanks for watching! Thanks, Kira. Please remember to follow AMS on Twitter at SCSD underscore AMS. Thanks for watching the AMS TV News. Have a great week.